Good evening, guys. Thanks for joining us on another board game night. Tonight we're playing Gondola from Big Kid Games, and I think this is designed by Jim Pinto. That's according to that. <laughs> <laughs> you <what> think? He thinks. <laughs> 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 All right, so we're going to give you an overview of uh, the the game Gondola. Uh, we're going to show you a couple of the rules, uh, so you get a general idea of how it plays and what it, how it flows, and then we'll show you a gameplay turn where we play a few rounds, so you can see us playing it. And uh, then we'll tell you our verdict at the end of the game. So tonight I have with me Dave Ashen. <laughs> I forgot your name. <laughs> and what's it? We call him. <laughs> That's not too racist. <laughs> All right. Um, so each of us is going to start with a gondola on the starting tile there, and then five flags. And the way you win this game is the first person to place all five flags on the specific checkpoints. Um, we'll get to, well, or we'll win the game. And the way you do that, on your turn, the first thing you do, we all start with a hand of five tiles. These are the five I've started with. And they do different things, and I'll go over that in a second. Um, once you've placed a tile, you can add it onto the, to the city of Venice. This is a, a gondola race in Venice. And uh, you add it onto the, tile, onto the city, and then you get to move your, your gondola. So the tiles themselves, I'm going to just take this one to show you, they have some information on. Uh, only the starting tiles have this numbers on here, and they're numbered 1 to 6, all the way down like this. So you set them up like this, and you can see, I'll give you a little look like that. So they're all set up for the beginning of the game. And then, each tile will have uh, a current rating, a capacity rating, and then up at the top here, with the ones we will play, will have a speed rating. And that, the capacity is obviously how many gondolas can be on a tile, um, the currency or the current, current. <laughs> it's not currency, James. Uh, current and the speed will determine how fast you move. So when you play a new tile, so for example, if um, I play this one, that's the speed rating up there. So let's say I attach it onto there, and where I am now, um, the current rating is five. The speed rating here is four. So you take the lowest of the two, which is the four, and you move four spaces. And you must move four as well. The only way you could, the only reason to stop is if you are going in a direction because you can't change directions during and, your and turn, you, and you run out. Yeah, you can't change directions during that movement if you run out of space, or you enter a tile which forces you to stop. Yeah, or you re reach a tile like the capacity or dead <clears throat> water, uh, deep water, not dead water. So you add the tile like that, and then you get to move. So in my case, I would move one, two, three four maybe to there or to there you don't have to move towards the tile that you placed but you have to move your full distance um, you can't make u-turn so I can't go one two and then go back that space that way again you have to keep going in the direction that you started in and the object of the game is to reach these tiles over here so these ones with the bridge across it like that are called the checkpoint tiles once your boat moves through those you get to place a checkpoint down like that once you place your fifth one you're the winner but there's a little bit of bonus. Um, there's four of us playing, so once the fourth flag, the person who places fourth flag on a checkpoint, will get to draw one of these special tiles. What he means is the last person to place on that checkpoint, just to be clear. Yeah. So obviously you can only tag a checkpoint once each. And we'll obviously draw more in our hand of tiles. Uh, once you've moved your ship, you then get to draw up and, or well, not ship, your gondola. Yeah, it's <laughs> a boat. Uh, and then we keep going around until one person's completed all five. Um, the more flags you place down, the less cards you can have in your hand or tiles. So we'll start with five, obviously like that. If I've placed this um, flag on my turn, I draw a new tile to replace the one I placed, and then I ditch down to my hand of four. Then yeah. yeah, each flag reduces your hand size. So when you've only got one flag left. You've only got one tile in your hand, which is tricky. It makes it a lot harder to find that space you need. But that's pretty much it. I mean, it's literally a very quick game, so um, we'll probably do a few rounds of tile placing. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Don't worry. And then uh, we'll get back to you with the gameplay turn. Alrighty. So we've had a few turns. Dave's the first player, and he's about to take his turn. Um, as you can see down there, uh, Ashen and Martin have got a flag placed. Ashen and Martin got a flag placed. <laughs> Me and David down here on the other side of the world. There's two checkpoints over here. Other side of the world, literally two streets away. <laughs> <laughs> Small world. <laughs> All right, Dave. No, that's a different game. So take your turn. First thing you do is place a new tile to the city, 
and then Duke, and I'll, set you up to get a nice little run there. All right, so I just want to quickly explain. Dave's over here. The currency of his tile is one. Current. Current. Currency. Yeah. <laughs> current of his tile is one. The speed of the tile he just placed is four. So he has to go to the lowest value, which is one, so he can move one space. That's a rubbish tile, that last one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's one of the starting tiles. I think uh, it must be designed. Five, yeah. All right, uh, then he's mo obviously moved his gondola one space. Now he gets to draw a new tile, and then he discards down to the no discards down a number of or flags he's placed, if that makes any sense. But I haven't placed any, yeah. so I don't discard. And we have a hand limit of five, max. Yeah. And you can see that the limit is two, but there's, and there's only two of them there. So. Okay, uh, me and... I don't know if I mentioned this in the overview as well. If you have... Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> if you have a checkpoint tile in your hand, you have to play it. Sorry, but you don't have to play it right next to the <laughs> others. <laughs> well, you can. It's like, okay, so I've got current five, max movement of four. So I'll go one, two, three, four. He declares a thumb war. Plonk that down. I draw a new tile. Is that a current five on my tile? Please? Yes. It's so, um, five. You've so got three flags placed I've got now. three flags down. I've got two flags left. I've got three cards, so I need to ditch down one uh, because I've got too many in hand. And I'm going to ditch that one okay I don't know what to do here because I feel hmm. I'm going to put that there so move a five current five so it's a five yep. I'm going to go one two three four five overtake Ash go through the old checkpoint thank you Alright, I've got to do something to stop this. So I'm going to place... Oh, you knobber! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put deep water there. So deep water has a little stop sign. If No matter how much movement you got, if you move into deep water, you immediately stop. And the speed is 5. I'm on a current 2, so I can only move 2 spaces. So I go 1, 2, and I place a flag! Woo! Woo! I'm going to put it this side so you can actually see it. <laughs> so, that's my first flag. I draw a new card. And then I have to discard one, which will be this one. <clears throat> All right, Dave, back to you. Let's do another round because it's quite a short. Uh, well, I don't like this side of the board, so I have to place this. So I think I'm going to extend that. Oh one my there. God! <laughs> <laughs> Straight run. Yep, and like you, Jason, I can only move two, so I am going to. Catch up to you. Not quite sure why you parked your little gondola on the bridge. Last time I checked, you went in the water. And uh, and then oh, that sucks. <laughs> it does. It's the current one as well. So even if you like, drift into there. Okay. All right, Ash. I wonder whether I'd be better off doing fire. I like the fact that I went one extra to try and overtake Ash as well. And... <laughs> What's ahead there? I can't see, Skipper. <laughs> it's fine, it's safe to come. come on. <laughs> I'm going to do that over there. Okay. And I'm going to get to move four. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, I don't know whether to go forwards. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Screw it. That's fine, isn't it? Yeah. So I can move uh, current four, move at four, I can move four, I have to stop. <laughs> Tile, please. Thank you. Right, so I'm on a current three. So I'm probably going to play. Um, I think I'll put this down here. So it's a speed two. So I will go one, two. And we're not quite sure which way the gondolas are meant to be facing. So we think Jason may be reversing, but we're not sure. <laughs> I don't know. Looking at the picture there, it looks like there's. I think he's going forward. I think he's going right. Yeah, could be. Right, I'm reversing definitely. I have to ditch another one, so I'm down to three tiles now because I've got two flags. All right, Dave. Okay. Here we go again. That's, that's ballsy. 
One. I'm quite surprised you did that, man. Mm, me too. Dude, he's placed another flag there. So you can place another flag there, Dave. Oh, yeah. I have to, don't I? Mm. Um, so, yeah, likewise, I draw and then I just down to three. Obviously, there's some limitations to what the gondolas can do. Like, they cannot drive over land or through buildings. Oh, um, okay, oh. so we've oh, actually yeah. hit a... He's cheated! Um, movement one, so... Let's yeah. go back to, uh, Sorry, a capacity one. <clears throat> well spot a dash. That just means he can't come into the task. Yeah, so he can the overtake, but there's not much in that, you know. So is that... A stopping capacity, it's not a... It's a stopping game. Yeah. I'm going to plonk that over there. So I'm going to move maximum three. Let's see. I don't think they're going to get to see the special tiles. One, two, three. I'll put that there. <laughs> wow. Uh, so current one, he's got to move it to... Oh, and I draw a tile. Have a tile, please. So I'm what? Current four, and some speed here, I think. Um, oh, you've ended the current two, so you can't actually. <laughs> no. Slightly better than the current one. No, but one. he's got two flags. If he'd have, if he could have gone three move, he could have just gone bloop and done them both. Yeah. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Sadly, one. I was on the current three end mm. as well. So. Uh, I guess. I'll go with that one. So it's speed three. And I'm on a current four, so three's the max I can go. So one, two, three. Dump down two more checkpoints, because some foolish race organizer put them right next to each other. <laughs> so I've got one flag left, and I've got two cards in hand, so I'm going to draw one. Ditch two. Ditch two. Ditch two. How did you end up with... I've just oh, placed yeah, two. Of, you placed in. Yeah, yeah, at the same time. And Might as well carry on. Yeah, I think I don't think it's gonna last much longer. <laughs> uh, just to be radical, I think I'll come up here a little bit. But well, I'm only moving two because of the current on my tile. So I'm just going to plod my little wheel on there. Okay, so I'm going to play just for the hell of it over here. That one there. And I'll go two to there. That's your fourth one. That's my fourth one. Right? There's obviously some restrictions to where you can build tiles as well. You can't make, like, uh, let's see if I can come up. You can't do that, for example, because that comes into the back of the building. Well, well actually, you probably would. You can't do that. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, you, <laughs> you know, you've got water coming from nowhere to nowhere. Yeah. So that's definitely a no-no. <laughs> <laughs> that's also no-no. <laughs> it's okay. I'll put that there. One, two, three. Uh, suck. <laughs> well, ironically, on my turn, I was going to win as well. <laughs> Just go. Well, there you go. What a good <laughs> shit <laughs> Martin has won. Again. Yeah. <laughs> and on my turn, I would have won as well. So, yeah. Well, that, it's really quick, isn't it? I mean. It says 15 minutes per player, but that. I think it's 15 minutes <laughs> altogether. <laughs> I feel that perhaps there's a little bit more strategy in not placing the things too close together mm. to sort of get the bonus tiles because the bonus tiles were awesome. Mm. Yeah, we when, when you get a bonus tile, you have to play it straight away. They've got special abilities on, so this one's like a replacement one, but you also get to move again as well. Yeah. So actually being the last to, to put your flag on something's really, really strong. Um, and I, I feel we probably should have tried to engineer those a bit more. Oh, a bonus tile with a, with a thing. checkpoint on is interesting. Uh, and that means you can't move through it. Yep, no overtaking. Mm, interesting. But yeah, so I wonder whether we're kind of not playing it quite how it should be, maybe, and we just... Yeah, we're, it's it's kind of interesting in a way because, I mean, obviously putting them next to each other is quite easy because then you can just jump through a couple of hoops. But so but, everyone. Yeah, exactly, and that's the point. That's why I was trying to block it off here that you guys... Well, that's why I blocked that off, <laughs> so you can go that way, then you went that way instead. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I agree with you. I think uh, putting them next to each other is probably a detriment to the whole overall of the game. We'll probably find that's in the rule book. Don't you must not. <laughs> you cannot. But to... well, you know, at least all mine were like you know spaced out a bit. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. We're also still quite close to the beginning, though. Because, yeah. I mean, uh, the, the tar, obviously, it starts with six tiles, and uh, we all start down at the bottom there, so you can connect them up further up as well. You don't have to put them all down at the beginning. I mean, we probably didn't need to put any at the beginning, but it's, it's sometimes it's too tempting to just go, I'm just going to stick it down here and get a, a flag down quick as possible. Yeah. Well, no. I think I had two again in my starting hand. And you did? I think you put both of those down, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, he did. And this one. Yeah, yeah, I put all three down, basically. At, so the fact that you have to place it down kind of meant that. I'm not going to put it there because Jason had zoomed all the way down and I was still floating around here, so. That's interesting. Kinda, so, we might as well carry on with the verdict now, considering the gameplay turn is finished and we've, we've actually finished the game. So, uh, let's start with the winner, which is neither of those two. No. <laughs> this man right here. Yes. What did it, you think? It's a bit easy. Um, <laughs> a bit I, I, easy. I, it's a bit easy, I said. <laughs> I don't mind it. It's got a couple of things that slightly bug me. Um, I don't like the fact that you're forced to play the checkpoint tiles when you've got one in your hand um, I can see why they've done it because it stops you kind of massing them in your hand and then just going I'll put down three at once and just sail through all of them or something so I can kind of see why but I feel it's almost like a sledgehammer to crack that because this you get this situation where like I mean we probably we, you know, had an aborted game where it was just like Checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint. Check. Every yeah. tile lane was checkpoint. Because everyone like, had, there was every, enough to win before well, any other tile off with, again. But well, everyone had one like, in their hand to begin with. Yeah, yeah. I, three again. Yeah. I think it's it's definitely a case of you should be allowed to keep one in your hand, and yeah. anything more than one should be played. Yeah. Because I, like, I agree with you one hundred percent. It's just like sometimes you get a situation where all the starting tiles are filled with checkpoints. Yeah. It's the shortest race ever. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. The, it's got the other thing I don't like with the the atomic finish in there where. I placed my last flag, I won immediately. Whereas I had I had more turns than Jason, for example. So I think you started it, Dave. So, they did, yeah. so Jason essentially had one less turn than me. And as he said, he would have finished on his go as well. So I, I feel there needs to be some kind of, like, everyone gets an equal number of turns and then you work out who's won. And arguably, I think probably Jason should have because the flags are further from the start. That, in my mind, that kind of makes more sense, you know we crossed checkpoints that are right next to the start and therefore they're less valuable, I suppose. Yeah. But whatever. I, I won. Tough. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so the atomic ending, I feel there should have been some kind of like tie break solution so everyone had an equal number of turns because it just didn't feel fair, I guess. Have we discovered something that... <laughs> no, 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 no. It's um, apart from that, I thought, it was, I thought it was pretty decent, to be honest. I didn't mind it at all. It's uh, fairly easy. I don't know how it is 15 minutes per player. This is a 15 minute game, period. 1 5, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 15, yeah. I mean, it, it, with four players, that should take an hour. What? No. There that, is no way that is an hour longer. Maybe 15 to 30 minutes. Well, I, I think it was 15 minutes all the whole game. Yeah. Because uh, the the gameplay section we filmed was about 10 minutes. Yeah. And we did about, what, two turns each before that? that yeah. it, is, so. it is not. I mean, it's, it's quite a pleasant filler game, I think. Mm. It's all right. I didn't mind it. Score wise. I think I'd probably give it 6.5. Yeah. Is that right? I was thinking the exact same thing. I was thinking 6.5 for me as well. Because ultimately, it's it's a nice little decent game. I mean, if you look at the tiles, not, tiles are nice. The gameplay is very simple. You can play this with your family, your friends. You know, it's it's really simple rules in terms of place a tile, go. Place a tile, go. Place a tile, go. Um, obviously it gets a little, supposed to be getting a little tougher when you get towards the more flags placed because you only have less tiles on your hand. But obviously everyone else is playing tiles and when they come up really close to each other like this, then it's not really a big deal. It doesn't matter what you have in your hand, just keep sailing or keep swimming. <laughs> well, I mean, tactically we may have messed up. Yeah, somewhat, I, I, I think fair. so as well. I mean, I, I think both Ash and Dave placed most of these next to each other. So we'll blame them for the shortness of the game. But uh, potentially, I, I placed those. I had nothing to do with yeah. those. That was you. That you was two. me. <laughs> um, but other than that, I, th I thought it was pretty decent. Nice, quick filler. Play your tiles. Move your gondolas. Have a little laugh. Get some uh, points in before the f uh, play some games before the food arrives. So Six point five for me. How about you, Dave? Yeah, it, there's not much more to say that you guys haven't already covered. It's definitely a filler game. It's alright, it passes some time. 
I'm not quite as struck on it as you guys seem to be. For me, it's probably more of this around the six, maybe it's a little bit less, five point five to a six. It do, the theme is there, but you know you could e easily replace the theme with anything. It could be cars around the street. So go kart know. racing. Yeah, Super Mario Kart. <laughs> School kids on. Bikes yeah. and the checkpoints are old ladies at the heat. <laughs> <laughs> that would probably be fun. <laughs> Actually, I like the theme better. Yeah. <laughs> Jim Pinto, give me a call. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's certainly playable. I would quite happily get this out um, and play it in a sort of filler format. But yeah, um, yeah so you, five, you? five to six for me. Ash? Well, coming, oh, well, didn't come last, but been no, last in the um, obviously comments. There's really not, as they said, really not too much to say. I do think, obviously, it feels a bit weird that there seems to be so many checkpoints around. Yet it's not. A there are a lot of checkpoints. Mm. Right? And give, uh, the thing we didn't mention mm. as well. This this is uh, more than a retail copy. We're playing with the Kickstarter extras as well. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Sorry, Ash. Okay. Yeah. I was kind of looking to see whether there was a way, like, you remove a number of tiles based on how many people they are or anything like that, but I couldn't see anything like that. But yeah, there's like so many checkpoints. And as a race, it seems weird that, you know, they don't care which checkpoints you're actually going through. Mm. I almost feel like maybe. It's like Robo Rally where you have to, you need to meet that one first, that one second, that one yeah. third. It's, it's like, all... yeah, you can have all the checkpoints. It's the shortest race ever. Go, yeah. go, go. Done. <laughs> yeah, you can have like a bunch of checkpoints here, a bunch of checkpoints there, and it doesn't, nobody cares which checkpoints you've gone through, so it doesn't feel like a race. It's like, you know, I'll run a marathon, you know, and you do, you know, 100 metres. sprint, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like maybe you should reduce the number of, like, checkpoints or something, just so that... You mean becomes... in the deck? In the deck, yeah. yeah. So it actually becomes a race. Still five checkpoints, but... Yeah. And that would maybe make it to the 15 minute per player mark, but then do we want it to be a 15 player minute per player, per player, per player yeah. game? Because yeah, it is nice I wouldn't want to play this for an hour. No, I don't think I mean, so maybe either. four different games of it with, you know, over a night, perhaps, you know, for 15 minutes, but not an hour long game of this, no way. No, agreed. No, I, I don't think there's enough substance to it <clears throat> to be an hour long game. Yeah, I agree that it works really well as a fast 15 minutes. But yeah. What you guys are saying, you know, 100 meter sprint versus marathon. Me and Jason definitely covered more distance than you guys did, but you know, that's just the way the game goes. We didn't have to go that route. We didn't. And it's not like it's a detriment because I mean, I almost won if, um, yeah. well, if there, you, if there wasn't two next to each other, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'd still be missing one. So. Yeah, but yeah. I was going to put that one there yeah. if that didn't happen because I was going to come out of there with that tile basically and then then speed up from there because that was movement of one but Dave did it for me so I didn't have to mm. which is why I put it there instead so that's interesting I mean if, if you guys like tile placement sort of racy quick family star weight games I mean I might play this with my kids sometime soon and see if they like it uh, have a look it's not too bad um, were you oh, going yeah. to say something else? I was going to give it a score, but it's okay. We oh, don't yeah, need to yeah. worry about me giving it a score. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it, man. I thought, you were still, <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you were still thinking about your score like you do with all your turns. No. Uh, <laughs> I'd say mate, a six. I wouldn't give it much more than a six, really. Um, I said, happy to play it. It's a nice, quick filler game. I almost feel like we spend more time setting it up than we did uh, <laughs> actually playing sometimes. But Well, that's the thing. I mean, because it's so quick, I don't mind playing it, you know, it's like we're waiting for dinner and we just finished a game. Can't start something soon. Let's just hit out a game quickly like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a very good game for that sort of thing, yeah. The only thing we did wrong was once we, when you place the flags, you don't you miss you, you skip your draw phase that time. Oh, because we had a look at that and yeah. then sure it said you draw up and then ditch down. Yeah, we well we, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, go check also, out What's up? Uh, as Martin was saying about the thing, there is a league play where you can play multiple games and you score, like, car carries points across, kind of like in uh, Flame Rouge, is it? Flame, With Flame Rouge. Flame yeah. Rouge. Oh, that'd be pretty so, cool, actually. It's a way of doing it. But it's boring, I've won two games of this now. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're not going to win any more if we did the league thing. <laughs> Alright, well, 